With winter fast approaching, it's time for us to break out our jackets. So for today, we're going to go over all of the jackets that I own and which ones I would buy again if I had to start all over from zero. Jacket number one, this Banana Republic field jacket in navy blue that I've had for a very long time. This used to be my absolute favorite jacket. As you can see, it really matches nicely when you wear it over something like khaki colored chinos. It even looks good over some nice dark denim and nice gray chinos as well. Fit of the jacket is nice and slim. The shoulder seam hits exactly where it is supposed to. Got a little bit of extra length to this is a very light to medium weight jacket. It's not very warm at all. Nice and weather resistant. It does, the water does seep through it if you're outside in a monsoon for a very long time. However, it's not designed to be worn for that. It's just designed to keep you dry when you're commuting to work and keep you looking very stylish, which this one does. It's basically just a nice, slim, dressed up version of a classic field jacket. It has that hideaway hood that zips in. It's got the four pocket snap jackets. Overall, this jacket used to be my favorite. What I don't like about this jacket is Banana Republic decided to continue it and they don't have anything like it. That's stripe one. Once they did that, basically I stopped wearing this jacket just in fear that if I ruin it or if I lose it, I'm never gonna be able to replace it. And point number two is it being navy blue. Right now, you can see that it looks very well with the outfit that I'm wearing. However, once I start to wear this with jeans and a navy blue sweater or navy blue polo, it just gets to be too much blue. So while I used to love all of my jackets to be the color of navy blue, I have moved on to black jackets. Black jackets, they aren't going to look quite as nice when you wear them over a pair of khakis. However, overall, they're gonna look better over a pair of jeans or even a pair of navy blue chinos or if you wanna wear it over a navy blue suit, for example. All right, moving right along. Next up, we have the Banana Republic Loma Quilted Jacket. This jacket is pretty much the closest that I could find to the navy blue field jacket that you just saw that Banana Republic makes. The nice thing about this jacket is from a functionality standpoint, while it doesn't have that zipper, it doesn't have that hide away, tuck away hood, it is considerably more warm than the blue field coat that I would, field jacket that I was just wearing, and it does have a really good amount of weather resistance. I've worn this one in the rain for a lot longer than I've worn this one in the rain, and the water just does not seep through this, so I almost don't need to have a dedicated rain jacket when I'm wearing this one, which is absolutely awesome. Now, of course, this one doesn't look as cool. It's made more out of that material that you see ski pants or big bulky winter jackets are made out of, but you've still got those four snap pockets. You've still got an awesome collar. You've got some snaps right over here on the wrist, which just keep it super comfortable and super easy to wear. And it being a black jacket means that it still looks good over a pair of khakis like you're seeing right now. But if you do wear it over a pair of dark denim, it's going to look quite as good. And if you're like me and you like to wear navy blue sweaters or navy blue polo with dark denim, which is just navy and navy, throwing on a black jacket over that outfit is going to look a lot better than just throwing on a navy blue jacket because you're gonna have navy blue, navy blue, navy blue. It's just gonna look too weird. It's just gonna clash. And this is pretty much like my replacement for my navy field jacket, just because I don't wear the navy field jacket anymore since it's not very warm when it comes to the weight of it, the actual weight when you hold it. This one is just a little bit lighter, but it is considerably warmer than the navy blue field jacket. Next jacket is going to be this LL Bean Prima Loft Packaway jacket in navy blue with the nice orange liner and the orange zippered accents. This is one of my favorite jackets. I absolutely love wearing it. It's nice, it's packable, it's very warm. Overall, I really, this is one of my favorite jackets. Now, of course, the navy blue on this jacket means it's gonna work perfectly with a pair of khaki colored chinos. When you do try to wear it over an all navy outfit, like navy dark denim, it's not going to work as well. However, since you do have this orange zipper, you can get away with wearing this over an all navy blue outfit. It's not going to clash as bad. And of course, the main downside of this jacket is going to be that it has that orange zipper and these orange accents. You could see it just doesn't look quite right when you dress this up. This is a very casual jacket. However, the nice thing about this jacket is 
You can wear it underneath your suit jacket or underneath your blazer. And just look at how good that looks. You could still see that orange zipper. However, it doesn't look as sporty and matches a lot better with a nicer outfit when you wear it underneath a suit jacket, sport coat, or blazer. And if you do layer this over the merino sweater and underneath your sport coat, you're gonna be pretty warm well into the 40s and maybe even the upper 30s, depending on if you wanna wear a scarf, hat, and gloves. You'd be surprised at how warm it keeps you for being so thin, which is amazing and makes this jacket one of my absolute favorites. The next jacket we're gonna talk about is the same L.L. Bean packable Prima Loft jacket, however, in all black. Of course, the pro of this being all black, just like we we're talking about the black field jacket versus the blue field jacket, this is gonna match a lot better or it's going to contrast a lot better if you're wearing a navy blue sweater and navy denim. But one obvious advantage to this is there is no contrasting zipper. So if you want to wear this one in a more formal situation or a more professional situation, like wearing it to work, this is going to be a lot better of a choice than the one with the orange all over the inside and the orange zipper. And the really nice thing about this one and the other jacket, really either of these jackets is during those transitional periods where we're going from spring into summer or we're going from summer into fall where it might start out cold but it might be warm during the day, I always would take either this black one or the navy one, stuff it in my backpack, it weighs almost nothing, packs down to nothing, but you could still throw it on and especially with the black one, it's still going to look really good since it does have that collar that stands up almost like a funnel neck color that I actually really enjoy wearing. Downsides, well for me, I tend to like the navy one better even though the black one is more versatile. It could be a bit more water resistant and it could just be a little bit more stylish since you still do have that L.L. Bean right there. And these things are priced at $180, so for what they are, they are pretty expensive. Now moving right along to the next jacket is going to be Total Function, the L.L. Bean Trail Model Rain Jacket, a very thin, lightweight rain jacket. You can see I have this in, I don't know what they call it, but it's a nice blue. It's, it's not super dark navy, but it's not a bright navy either. Really enjoy this rain jacket. I only wear it when it rains, but let me tell you, this is the only rain jacket that I've ever had that water will not seep through. I could stand, or I would stand in a monsoon for hours, and I'm okay. I trust this jacket, and that's more than I can say for any other jacket that I've ever worn. So L.L. Bean's gotta be doing something right when it comes to their water resistance technology that they're putting into this jacket. I also used to keep this jacket in my backpack around the summertime if I was gonna go out late at night and if it was gonna get a bit cooler at night since it's just so nice and lightweight, it just takes the edge off for those cooler summer nights. And as a bonus, if it does start raining out of nowhere, which sometimes in the summer it tends to do, just throw on that jacket and you're good. You're gonna keep your shirt dry at least. And this jacket does crumple up nice and tight, nice and small. It's super lightweight, it's super packable. You don't even feel it when it's in your backpack. I've thrown it in my backpack for bike rides as well. But the downsides are gonna be pretty obvious here since we do have the white on the inside. It definitely makes it a lot harder to dress this one up. And this is pretty much just a casual only jacket. It doesn't look horrible with the way the collar spreads that look kind of looks pretty cool but it's still not a very stylish jacket you don't have the length to wear it over a suit or sport coat and there are a lot of better options if you're looking for a more stylish winter or rain jacket next up is this ll bean packable down sweater they're calling it it's basically again a packable jacket it's in this brighter of a blue but the big difference to this one as compared to the prima loft ones is that this one actually uses real down, which keeps you a lot warmer. I usually wear this one to the gym. That way I can just take it off and pack it into my backpack so I don't have to deal with the lockers at all. And it definitely makes it super convenient and nice to have. Now this being real actual down, not synthetic down, means that if it gets wet, it's going to lose most of its thermal properties. It's not going to keep you warm. So I don't really wear this one in the rain. If I do wear it in the rain or if it's going to rain and I actually have this one wear into the gym, I always make sure I have this one just because I don't want to be freezing if it's below 40 degrees. Speaking of temperature, this one will keep you warm till probably about 35 degrees Fahrenheit as long as you have a hat, gloves, and scarf. So it actually is pretty good and I've had this one for quite a long time now. 
I was gonna replace it with a black version of this one just so I can get more use out of it, but I'm okay with this one. The Prima Loft ones actually give me everything that I need. I don't need to be wearing this one under a suit or sport coat, but this is still nice since I can wear it underneath one of my field jackets for like a spare winter jacket. Now we get to the more stylish options. We have to talk about they or about the shot NYC 740N as in Nancy Peacoat, which I have here in navy blue. Probably one of the most stylish winter jackets that you can get. I know a lot of you guys have been watching my Peacoat videos. Thank you so much. Seems like you're really enjoying them. A Peacoat is one of the most versatile jackets that you can wear since you can wear it all the way up to a suit, but you can still dress it down more casually if you're going out on the weekends or if you're just dressing more casually in general. Peacoats do a great job of building up your shoulders and slimming down your waist since most of them have a nice big collar which I always like to pop and they have these lapels and they have both of these rows of buttons. This is called a double breasted jacket since it actually does fold over onto itself and it creates a lot more warmth especially if the wind is hitting you straight on while giving you a nice slim sleek silhouette. Now I tried on a lot of different peacoats from just about every single manufacturer. I finally landed on this one from SHOT but I still wasn't home free since I actually had to get the size 40 long since the size 40 regular the sleeves would come up too much and it would get too cold since this one is a very warm jacket and I wear it in some really cold temperatures. This jacket is not as slim as I would like it to be especially in the arms it has some pretty low armholes it has a lot of extra room however since it's a pea coat and we've got that collar and we've got this nice bead taper going on it still looks very sleek very slim and it's really an added bonus since it has so much extra room it's very easy to layer either a prima loft jacket under it if it gets super cold or you could even just slip it on over a suit or a sport coat and you have no issues at all with movement very comfortable plenty of room now, i don't really wear this one that much anymore only if i have to dress up is when i'll actually wear it but i just find that it's hard to keep your neck warm you always have to have a hat and gloves it just sometimes can require a little bit more thought to wear something like this than the next jacket that we're going to talk about. But it is still a great option if you're looking for a nice wool jacket that you can dress up and down and stay super warm in. Last but certainly not least, this J. Crew Nordic Parka in navy blue. This is the jacket that I reach for once the temperature stays consistently below 40 degrees, and this thing will keep you warm probably all the way down to 5 degrees or 0 degrees Fahrenheit. This parka jacket is very slim fit, as you can see, a size medium. I don't have a lot of extra fabric here. However, very easy to move around, no discomfort at all. It's nice that you can wear this one open. This is one of the big reasons why I always pick this one or normally pick this one over the peacoat, since you can't really wear the peacoat open since you have all this extra fabric. With a single breasted or a regular jacket, you can wear this one open a lot easier than the peacoat, meaning if the temperature starts to get unexpectedly warm later on in the day, it's easier to just not overheat. Now, this jacket also comes with a fur lining that goes over the hood. I opt to take it off because I find that I don't need it. It does look pretty cool, but it, it gets in my way when I try to look behind me, especially when I put the hood up. Speaking of the hood, it's really nice to have a jacket that actually has a hood. I'm someone that I cannot survive without a hat during the winter. My ears and head get way too cold. And if I'm somewhere, if I happen to lose my hat, it's nice that I have a quote built in hat. I don't have to wrap my scarf around my head and just not something that I would want to do. And that's one of the main reasons why I don't reach the pea coat as much as I used to. Now the nice thing about this jacket is it being a parka, it has a nice, I don't know if this is nylon, whatever the material is, very, very water resistant. Water has seeped through after wearing this in heavy rain for over an hour, which is a bit of an extreme condition. However, what I did was I just bought some wax and sprayed some wax on it through the shoulders and all over the place. Seemed like it did a good job of giving it back that water resistance, but we will have to see since I haven't worn it in a downpour since that happened a long time ago. It's also nice that it has a lot of extra pockets. I normally keep a cheap pair of gloves in here just as an emergency and plenty of storage if you wanna put things like your phone, your batteries, an extra pair of gloves, a scarf. Literally, you don't need to have a backpack or have a separate bag for all your accessories. One time last winter, I went out and filmed a few vlogs with just my phone and I was just able to have a couple of batteries right here 
and we were walking around New York City all day, and I didn't need a backpack because I just had this jacket, and it was awesome. So as far as fashion and function, this one blends the line perfectly, a lot more perfectly than something like the Peacoat, if you ask me, just because you do have that water resistance, you don't need to carry an umbrella, you do have that built-in hood, so you don't have to worry about it if you forgot your hat or if you lose your hat, and you have just so many more areas to store your items so you don't have to worry about bringing a backpack or bringing a separate messenger bag if you don't want to. So these are all the jackets that I currently own. Now, if everything went bye-bye instantly, which ones would I actually go out and buy again? Well, obviously, I can't buy this one anymore. It's discontinued, so this one is going to have to go. But I don't really wear this one that much anymore just because it's not heavy, but for what it is, it doesn't offer a lot of warmth. It's not that water resistant. Yeah, it's a cool looking jacket, but I've moved on. So this one, I'd have to kiss goodbye. The Loma Quilted jacket has been discontinued as well. However, this is more of a plain Jane jacket and it being black just means it's a lot better for me nowadays and my needs right now than my needs years ago, which just means it works a lot better for me right now. So I definitely would want to either keep this one or get something just like it. So this one is going to be a keeper. When it comes down to these jackets, this is a very tough decision. I absolutely love this jacket. However, I can't argue with the versatility of this jacket. So I, this is tough. You know, I think because, because I enjoy wearing this one so much, I would have to just say, forget about those style rules. Yeah, this is not as stylish with the orange, but I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna leave this one for a later purchase or maybe just get a cheaper version of it. And I actually didn't even realize that having something like this kind of negates the use for something like this since I don't need two medium weight black jackets. Uh, the rain jacket is a very functional jacket, not super stylish, but it's not like a bright yellow or a bright red jacket. So you could still wear it in some casual situations and it's gonna look okay. Only thing I would try differently is maybe get it in black just so that it matches more my outfits. And I wish they would make something without this white on the inside that would make it just be able to blend in a lot more as a nicer casual jacket versus a sports only jacket. But the water resistance of this jacket alone means I can't get rid of it. I always have to have either this one or a black one in my wardrobe. The packable down sweater, this one is cool and I found a use for it. Like I said, just going to the gym, stuffing it in my bag. I would wait to see if I actually needed this one or I would just get one just like it in black of course fine black is just easier to dress up especially for casual jackets but yeah i don't know i like wearing it to the gym but that's really all i need it for i probably could get by without it i don't think i would run out and buy it right away so i'm going to put it to the side but this is something that i'm not going to get rid of because i find useful so you know i'm going to put it over here on the smaller hanger the smaller hanger i'm going to put it on the lower one just to keep it just to say that yes i'm not going to get rid of it but I wouldn't necessarily run out and buy it right away. This pea coat is absolutely awesome. It's the best pea coat that I've ever tried on. However, if I'm being totally honest, at over 300, I don't, I think this one could be closer to 400. I'll put a price up on the screen. It is gonna be very hard for me to go out and buy it again, just because I like a jacket that has a hood. I like a jacket that has pockets. I like a jacket that has a lot more water resistance. I like a nice parka jacket a lot more than a pea coat. Plus there are a lot of other nice options when it comes to dressier coats. I've been looking at an insulated Mac jacket from the company Charles Tierwit. That one definitely looks like you could still dress it up, but it's going to be a lot easier, a lot more streamlined since you could wear it open. And I'm just not into the whole big baggy coat anymore, the big baggy fabrics. So I would probably shop around before just going and pulling the trigger on this one, especially since I don't wear it too much anymore and that price tag has gotten pretty high. Don't get me wrong, it is a great jacket, but I wouldn't necessarily go run out and get one right away if I'd start over from zero. And finally, the J. Crew Nordic Parka. Yes, I would buy this again. However, I would get it in black, partially because they don't make an AV1 anymore. And number two, since I've mentioned plenty of times throughout this video, Black just matches better with my wardrobe and to my eye lately, whereas back in the day I used to love navy blue. And I just really appreciate all the functionality that the parka gives me. My arm's getting tired. I have no problem wearing this one to a nice formal dinner or even a wedding over a suit if I'm going out and it's freezing cold in the winter. Especially, the black one is gonna be a little bit more formal. You can add that fur lining around the hood. It's gonna make it look a lot more classic. Yeah, it's not as dressy as a pea coat or a top coat, but those wool pea coats and top coats can get pretty expensive and you just get so much more utility and versatility 
out of a parka jacket since it has so many more useful features. So if I was starting from zero, there you go. This is what I would start out with to cover all of my needs. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching.